Hello, hello, hello. This is Mrs. M. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I am going to talk about one of the areas that you don't hear a lot when it comes to cleaning business owners. Freedom. Freedom. You hear a lot about the money. You hear a lot about the customers. And you hear a lot about complaining. You hear a lot about employees. But you don't hear a lot about having freedom in this type of business. And the whole reason to go into business is to have freedom. But in this type of industry, in the cleaning business, it's a challenge because at most times, a lot of companies do not know how to set up their cleaning businesses to have that freedom. So in this video, I'm going to speak about three ways to make sure that you have more freedom in your cleaning business. Way number one is to level your employees. That means to have one that is a regular employee, have another that's a lead, have another one that's the shift leader, one that's the manager, but do not have them all on the same level. When you do this, you put different employees of different levels in a position of authority. And this is necessary in order for you not to have to be there every single day running the business. If you have other individuals that know what needs to be done when it comes to the basics, you will be able to have more freedom in your commercial cleaning business. Number two, make sure that you have a, an outstanding training program in place. When your employees are well-trained, you do not have to make sure that you're taking their hand every single day and guiding them along. The training program should cover the scope of work that the customer has requested. It should have a log where they have a step-by-step -step instruction manual on what they are supposed to do every single day and a checklist that they check off on every single day. These items should be in place so that that way they should be able to be well-trained and clean effortlessly. Number three, pay them well. If your customers pay you well, and if you have the right customers, you'll be able to make sure that happens. You will be able to pay your employees well. Now, I'm not saying that paying your employees a high premium amount of money is going to turn them into professional cleaners. But what I will say is when your employees do not have to worry about the basics when it comes to being able to provide for their families, they will be more in the mood to be able to provide for your customers. So treat your employees fairly when it comes to making sure you provide them with the salary that is, you know, able to compete in your market area. So depending on where you live will depend on what you need to pay. And it's not always about the money, but there is some incentive for money and other things, which I've covered in other videos. If you are interested in all of these on how to start, grow, and maintain a profitable and successful cleaning business, make sure you sign up for the free webinar in the link, register, and we go for about an hour. And it is where you can ask questions. It's an actual question. Um, area where you can ask questions and you can interact with myself or someone else on our team that will be able to talk about any questions you have that will be answered that evening. But because our webinars are live, we have limited space. So if you're interested on how to get started, what you need to do to retrain, to train, retain, hire, how to get your first customer, any of those areas, make sure you sign up for our free webinar and we'll walk you through it. So we hope to see you soon. Be safe. And like I said, make sure, do not hesitate. If you have a mindset for it, you're ready for it. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon.